Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be briefly covering localization of a lower extremity peripheral neuropathy. So things I'm not really going to be covering are patterns of weakness, differentiating between upper and lower motor neuron pathology, localizing to neuromuscular junction versus root, etc. I'm going to assume that you picked up your hammer, you did a decent exam, and you've at least localized to a peripheral nerve. So by the end of this video, I would expect that you'd be able to easily use your exam and a piece of paper to quickly localize where lesions are uh, based on a scenario such as I am unable to uh, dorsiflex or evert my foot. Everything else is intact. So I'm going to break this down into the three major nerves of the lower extremity. So we're going to be talking about the sciatic, which is probably the most complicated of this talk, the femoral nerve, and the obturator. Between these three major nerves, we're going to be using really simple mnemonic devices to help us remember the anatomy quickly when we draw it. So for the sciatic nerve, all we got to remember is TGIF, PET, and PIG. We'll remember for the obturator that it's the obdurator. And then lastly, the femoral nerve, we don't really need to remember anything because that's pretty easy. Alright, so I've got my marker and we're going to start with the sciatic nerve. So the sciatic nerve. And let's split it up into its major components. Here is the top part. Um, it's going to divide like this, and then we're going to divide again like this. Okay, and so right here we're going to write pig. Over here we're going to write pet. And over here we're going to write T, G, I, F, in little brackets like that. Um, so let's start up with here. Um, what do pigs give us? They give us ham, hamstrings. Pig has an eye in it, sciatic nerve has an eye in it. So the hamstrings are going to be kind of localized up here, approximately in the main sciatic nerve. So then we have a, our first split, and we'll start over here on the TGIF side. So TGIF is just a way to really remember TGI, so we'll kind of just get rid of the F. And so the T, this is the nerve, so it's the tibial nerve. The G tells us we're activating our gastroc muscles, and we know that the gastroc muscle is going to plantar flex the foot, so that's pretty straightforward. And then the I is inversion. So we invert the foot. Okay, let's move over here to PET. So PET uh, is helping us remember with the P that this is the peroneal nerve, which further splits down here into a superficial and a deep. And the superficial nerve um, everts the foot, and the deep portion of it activates the tibialis anterior and you know that the tibialis anterior is going to dorsiflex the foot. So that's the sciatic nerve. We got it down. That is the toughest one. So let's move on to the obturator nerve. Remember the only thing we needed to really remember and again this is high yield stuff is obdurator. And I want you to remember that it's obdurator because with the D that's telling us that is our adductors of the leg. So if your adductors are out, that's telling you your obturator's out, okay? Pretty easy. So let's then move on to the very last, which is the femoral nerve. And really the only thing left are the quads. Again, high yield, there's other muscles in the leg, but uh, for our purposes, we'll just remember that the only major group left are quads. And that's pretty much it. You've got it down. So let's run through a quick uh, couple of examples. So let's just jump back um, into an earlier scenario. Okay, I knocked out my ability to invert my foot and plantar flex. So let's look right back here. Um, that's my gastroc muscles out, my inversions out, uh, but I'm able to do all these other things. Evert, I'm able to dorsiflex, I'm able to use my hamstrings, I'm able to adduct, abduct my leg, 
um, I'm able to use my uh, hamstrings, I'm able to use my quads. So I know that it pretty much localizes to the tibial nerve only. That's pretty easy. Let's say I lost my ability to uh, activate my quads, activate my hamstrings, um, and some of these other muscle groups here. Well now I've crossed over into two different nerves. So either this is a mononeuropathy multiplex, or more likely this is a plexopathy. So as you guys can probably see, it's actually pretty straightforward to localize these peripheral neuropathies of the lower extremity. Um, if we just remember a couple of these quick mnemonic devices and we have a minute uh, to do a little drawing before you kind of lock it into your memory permanently. Um, before I go, I just want to recommend a book here. Um, really easy to remember title. It's Aids to the Examination of the Peripheral Nervous System, 5th edition. Um, this is actually a super thin book. Um, it's got lots of bright pictures. Um, and my favorite part is it just goes through one by one. Uh, muscle, roots, uh, and nerve, and way you activate uh, these different muscle groups. So not necessarily reasonable to keep in your coat pocket at all times, but maybe reasonable to throw in your book bag. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing this, um, I'm going to link it in the description below. Alright, so thanks for sticking around and watching the whole thing. If you found this video useful in any way or you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like or a subscribe. Until next time.